Well, switching gears to a topic that is near and dear to many's hearts, major changes coming to Google Plus. The company <laughs> is shrinking it. Users will no longer need Plus to log on to Google services. So why has it taken Google so long to do this? And Google Plus know. is terrible. I mean, there's a lot of people who feel that it is just absolutely worthless. It has brought nothing to their lives. I don't think that Google Plus itself is terrible, but forcing people into a social network is really not the way to make people use yeah, social that's network. Yeah, I mean, that's all the things found. I've read, on, even on CNET and right. other technology magazines, is that it's just not going to get us to do what Google wants us to do. Right, Google tried to have more users in the network by forcing everyone who's commenting on YouTube or elsewhere on the internet to sign into Google Plus. And they did get a lot of people to sign up to Google Plus, but we've seen that very, very few people actually use it. Less than 1% is the estimate. Wow. So it's a very, very small percentage. But those who do use it love it. It's actually a very nice social network in terms of sharing pictures easily, uh, connecting with friends, talking about different topics, that kind of thing. It's a really nice social network. But I think what we're seeing here is that you can't force people into a social network. It's got to be the kind of thing that grows organically like Twitter has, like Facebook did, and that kind of thing. So let me just ask you, Tim, just because I, so I can understand. It's, so what you're saying is that it's, an actually, it's actually a powerful tool. It's just that it's never gotten any traction. As opposed to the tool being terrible, it's that they've never been able to get people interested in it. Right. And so I guess the question is why? I think it's just because people felt like they were being forced to use it. And if you're being forced to use something, you're probably not going to recommend it to your friends. You know, it's, it's not as cool, it's not as exciting as Twitter always was. Twitter was kind of the, the hip happening new thing, a little bit less so now. But still, it is a fun place where people go because their friends are on it. Mm. If you're going to Google Plus exclusively because you need to go to Google Plus to sign in and leave a comment anywhere, it's not really a good incentive. But yeah, the software's always been good. Uh, it's always been unfortunate to me to see it not successful. I actually like Google Plus a lot. I have a lot of good discussions on there. Uh -huh. But yeah, the adoption rate is very, very low. All right. Well, is there a site or an app that you know Google should think about acquiring now? It's hard to say, you know, they definitely missed the bandwagon when it came to Twitter. There were opportunities there, uh, or Instagram, things like that, too. I don't know that that's really going to work for them either. These sort of things are, it's really hard to predict what's going to be successful. Uh, so honestly, I don't know. Again, they've had all the right pieces, but they just couldn't get the, get the mojo behind it, unfortunately. <laughs> that's the big piece, and you can't really buy mojo, I don't think. <laughs>